President Islamic Development Bank, His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Salman Al Jasser, for his statement. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. The name of God, most gracious, merciful, most compassionate. Peace and blessings be upon our noble Prophet Muhammad and his kin and companions and his followers till the end of day. Your Excellency Imran Khan, Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Your Highness Prince Faisal. Bin Farhan Al Saud, Foreign Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the OIC Summit Chair. Your Excellency, Mr. Makhdoum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, Foreign Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Your Excellency, Mr. Hussein Ibrahim Taha, Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Excellencies, representatives of the OIC member states and representatives of all other countries distinguished representatives of the fellow multilateral banks and UN agencies. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allow me to begin by expressing my utmost appreciation to this esteemed session of the OIC Council of Foreign Ministers for designating building partnerships for unity, justice, and development as its theme, which is most pertinent. We cannot overemphasize the importance of partnerships for realizing our vision of prosperity, development, and solidarity. As an institution committed to sustainable development, the Islamic Development Bank recognizes that partnerships are the key enablers for socioeconomic advancement. To continue to respond to evolving development needs, the Islamic Development Bank is firmly committed to supporting green, sustainable, and resilient infrastructure, the foundation for higher productivity and growth. The Islamic Development Bank is also investing in inclusive human capital development and social infrastructure through investment in health, education, nutrition, and job creation. For the bank, Solidarity means strengthening partnerships and cooperation among the member countries in all possible areas to enhance their collective economic development. To achieve this goal, the bank has introduced new modalities and initiatives to strengthen economic linkages among its member countries. The programs under IDB's regional cooperation and integration, supported by our private sector group entities, aim to scale up regional integration projects, intra-OIC trade, and investment levels through cross-border projects and trade corridors. Excellencies, distinguished guests, the establishment of the Afghanistan Humanitarian Trust Fund is a strong message of solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan. The 17th extraordinary meeting of the OIC foreign ministers held in this great city on December 19, 2021, asked the Islamic Development Bank to establish, operationalize, and manage the fund to channel humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan in partnership with other international and regional stakeholders. I am pleased to update that the Charter has been signed with the OIC. This is the first but very pivotal step that will pave the way for operationalization of the fund. The IDB is strongly committed to ensuring strict policies and guidelines to govern all, uh, all of the fund's activities. Accordingly, we guarantee utmost transparency in all aspects of the fund's activities and adherence to the relevant international standards 
and best practices. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, given the gravity of the challenges facing Afghanistan today, no single entity or institution can tackle them alone. Instead, there is a consensus that the international community needs to collectively provide a holistic, practical, sustainable, and comprehensive solution, learning from the lessons of the past and leveraging the strengths of all stakeholders to address these daunting challenges. Since last December, the bank has had continuous coordination and consultations with the OIC, development partners, humanitarian organizations, and donors. We have also consulted with countries interested in supporting the Afghani people. We are committed to benefiting from all relevant experiences and exploring potential cooperation opportunities to ensure formulation of an impactful partnership to undertake collective efforts to achieve the fund's objectives. Since 76% of the Afghanistan population lives in rural areas, a primary focus of the fund will be to save lives by preserving rural livelihoods. An integrated holistic approach is proposed to be adopted to ensure that, that the fund's limited resources are deployed most effectively to yield maximum developmental impact. We are also keen to leverage local community development councils, especially in rural communities, to design and implement various initiatives under the fund to enhance local ownership. We are committed to working with all our partners to break the prevalent vicious cycle of poverty and initiate a virtuous cycle of hope and self-reliance in the country. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, depending on the fund's funding amounts and possible replenishments, a comprehensive phased approach will be adopted to promote long-term peace and stability. This can be achieved by enhancing agricultural productivity to promote food security, ensuring access to quality education, especially for females, provisioning of health care facilities in rural communities, women and youth empowerment, as well as facilitating rural electrification. The fund, in close coordination with our partners, is also actively exploring potential opportunities to leverage the private sector to support the humanitarian efforts, especially by focusing on creating meaningful employment opportunities in agro-business through supporting micro and small medium enterprises. The Islamic Development Bank is also ideally positioned to provide the necessary platform for neighboring and regional member countries to play a positive role by optimally leveraging the IDB South-South cooperation program. Benefiting from the experience, expertise, and knowledge of several OIC and Islamic Development Bank member countries, the Islamic Development Bank under the overall umbrella of the fund is keen to facilitate the capacity building in key sectors such as banking and finance, medicine and agriculture. We expect Islamic finance, particularly Islamic social finance instruments such as zakat, to play an essential role in facilitating resource mobilization and successful delivery of the programs. We look forward to the generous support of all OIC countries, international, regional, and bilateral organizations, the private sector, and philanthropists. The success of this fund will not be of credit to a single individual entity or institution, but to all of humanity. I reiterate the Islamic Develop Development Bank's continued commitment to work closely with our partners and the international community to fully synchronize all efforts to ensure we collectively deliver sustainable support to Afghanistan, fostering resilience and self-reliance. Excellencies, distinguished guests, I take this opportunity to express our sincere appreciation to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and the OIC Special Envoy for all their efforts to promote the Afghanistan Humanitarian Trust Fund globally. I would also like to thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for this vital initiative whereby we take the lead in helping our fellow Muslims. 
Special thanks go to Nigeria for being the first country to make a pledge. We are confident other countries and donors will follow suit. I also extend my special thanks to the government of Pakistan for its generosity and hospitality, and also congratulate the people and the government of Pakistan on the occasion of this 75th anniversary of independence. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Mr. President, for your statement.